All right, let's see. Number thirty-three. Two runners, Kenny and Louis, start a race at the same time. If the speed ratio of Kenny to Louis is five to six, so their speed is different, right? And now we need to find out what's the ratio of the time taken by Kenny and Louis to complete the race. So it means which one is fixed? Speed, distance, or time? Which one? Distance, right? Because they need to complete the race, and the race, the length of the race is fixed. And we can write down the basic equation: speed equals to distance divided by time. And in this problem, distance is fixed. And since both runners are racing the same distance, we can focus on the ratio of their speeds to find the ratio of the time they take to complete the race. We know that the speed ratio of Kenny to Louis is five to six. Speed ratio of Kenny to Louis is. Five to six, and since they cover the same distance, so the time they take to complete the race will be inversely proportional to their speeds. That means so that means Kenny's time to Louis's time is equal to Louis's speed to. Kenny's speed, right? So, the speed ratio of Kenny to Louis is five to six. Therefore, the ratio of the time taken by Kenny and Louis is inversely proportional to their speeds. That is six to five, right? And that's the answer.